Howdy, 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 my beautiful Sagittarius. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Velka, and today we're going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading, Sagittarius, for the 1st of uh, August, darling. Can y'all believe it? I almost said September. We're about to skip this month, apparently, with Sagittarius. If y'all enjoy this tarot reading here today, let me know in the comments below, Sagittarius, how this tarot reading helps you out, because that's how I keep up with y'all, all right? As well as if you want a free way to support me, just give this video a like and subscribe, Sagittarius. It helps me out more than you ever possibly could imagine, and I really appreciate those that do the extra stuff because I know you don't have to. All right. Today, Sagittarius, we're going to be getting into three tarot rows for you, or rows in general. I don't know why I said it like that. Uh, your first row, we're going to get deal with your like your physical pursuits, right? It could be your career projects, you know, just your physical desires, right? Your earthly desires. Your second row, we're going to be talking about your social life uh, here, Sagittarius. This could be a romantic, platonic, ex-darling, family, someone in the workplace that we're tapping into, and it could be anything, all right? And then in your third row, uh, today, Sagittarius, we're going to be getting into your spiritual tarot messages here and some predictions. Starting out your reading, though, Sagittarius, you got the Two of Swords coming in here for you, all right? The Two of Swords, a crossroads is about to be happening for you. A door is being opened for you, Sagittarius, that I see, and it's a matter of if you want to walk it down it or not. You could change your life. You could you could completely transform your life. You just have to say the word. That's the first thing that came to mind here, Sagittarius. You could completely change your life. You just have to say the word. Say the word and then everything will happen. Take the action. Everything changes afterwards. All right, Sagittarius. What I see really happening for you here is like, oh, this week is going to be a week of where if you choose to be bold, that's where you get rewarded. If you choose to leave your comfort zone this week here, uh, Sagittarius, that's where the elevation happens. Your path is calling you right now, Sagittarius, to a higher calling, to a higher place of responsibility, to a higher place of an authority here. Whether this is coming in the place of like you're feeling really called in Sagittarius to create like your own social media following, right? Or whether you're feeling called to really like moving, right? You know, a lot of people, I feel like, especially for you, Sagittarius, well, not for you, you are really, I was going to say, Sagittarius, like you're really known to be like moving, but a lot of people always will talk about it's like, oh, I want to leave the country, da 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 da, but they never take action on it. For you, this is a week, Sagittarius. Pay attention, especially just in August in general for you, darling, Sagittarius of where this two of swords is going to be presenting itself whatever it is that you've been wanting to have like that hanged man drastic life experience altering experience happen some path is going to be opening up where if you start delving into it it starts out small and it grows up really quickly here all right so it's just like be paying attention all right to something that you've been saying that you wanted to have happen or something that you've been wanting to do darling is spirit is hearing you and it's just like all right Sagittarius what if we place this in front of you darling let's see how you react to that right let's see how Sagittarius does since I so I see you being tested in that way here all right um so let's get into your physical desires now Sagittarius you have the eight and three of pentacles here with the emperor card coming in all right I get promotion for some of you guys, all right, your hard work being really recognized for those that work into your normal nine to five or whatever hours that you work, Sagittarius. I also get for many of you here of where it's just like... <sighs> I see a mentor coming in. I see someone that's going to bring forth a, uh, some guidance to you to help show you how you go from point A to point B here, Sagittarius. I see you getting to know someone that is an expert in your field, someone that is able to relate to you, someone that you want yourself. It's like you see your path starts crossing with someone um, that is living the life that you want, Sagittarius. All right. And I see that's happening. Or maybe actually what i feel like is happening for you it's like the very person that you want to live the life that they want you're going to start having your path oh that's what this is it's like the you've been wanting to live a life in a certain type of way maybe there's someone that you've looked up to or just someone has the type of lifestyle that you want i feel like either like for very 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 small few of you here obviously uh, in that case, Sagittarius, like you might be having your path aligning with where you can be your your path is going to be like either working alongside of them or being able to get some information like, you know, for some of you guys, you might be able to get a, like a mentorship program from them. Others, if you Sagittarius from a more internal standpoint here, I feel as if you're going to be having something that really validates you, Sagittarius. I feel like you're really wanted at this time in the workplace here. If you feel like you're being really if you if you have feelings being unwanted in your current environment, this is a sign for you to be changing that work environment to be upgrading because you are an emperor and there's a this is really a message here where it's just like if you're not being treated like the um royalty that you are Sagittarius you can get that treatment somewhere else 
you can find that treatment somewhere else, but you have to be the one to acknowledge that you're worth that treatment, right? They always say, Sagittarius, that uh, staying at a job for longer than two years, you start losing money. And that's really, it's really true because you can start renegotiating. You can go to a different workplace and get like $5 more compared to like what a lot of people always get, like what, like 10 cents or 25 cents each year, whatever the case is, if you're lucky, right? So that's what I feel like for you guys in that sense is where it's just like being respected or finding the place that you will be respected because that is like that's where your path is like that's where your environment is meant to be like if you're in an environment right now that isn't celebrating you as this emperor or being around other emperors sagittarius be anticipating your environment shifting to where it's more conducive for you all right now talking about your social life here darling you have the eight and six eight of cups with the six of swords and the devil energy be very careful this week sagittarius all right from people of the past trying to come back in here i get like a very specific message i've never said something like this before but i feel like just be careful I f be careful about who you hang out with be careful who you talk to all right make sure if you're going out carry some pepper spray here i'm gonna be just very blunt here all right i i'm the very last you know most 99.99999 percent of my tarot readings sagittarius are always very positive or uplifting even if it's a bad like a heavy message it's always in some way uplifting all right but with this in specific here i just feel <sighs> just be careful this week all right be careful this week because i just don't have a good feel like i just don't have a good feeling about someone that you're going to be around here all right i feel like you'll be able to identify them because once you start talking to them you immediately start feeling drained this is someone that really like i feel like you had to emotionally detach yourself from as well it's like the only reason why that you could talk to them at one point in time was if you were to take the emotions out of it right this easily could be like a family member for example that is just like every time you talk to them every single time you speak they have to say something insulting or whatever and so the only way that you can even handle them or stomach them is just being detached and i feel like they're just pushing it to this week i feel like there's somebody that's really pushing your button sagittarius and so that's why i wanted to say just be careful about who you interact with i just don't have a good feeling about someone here like i don't like i'm very much so giving you that treatment of like you know if you own a dog and you bring home uh someone new and your dog doesn't like them and it's like that's your the best sign that you need that's the only sign that you need to be like oh you need to leave right your dog starts growling that's what i feel i mean i don't like referring to myself as a dog but <laughs> that's how i feel right now sagittarius with this is that like i can't quite put it into words right now I mean, I can technically with these cards, like these cards themselves gives that feeling. But when I'm tapping into this in general, Sagittarius, like I just don't like I don't like it, but I can't really give a specific specificity as to why. And it maybe just be perhaps because it's um, a general tarot reading that's really hard to like drill into something like this. Or maybe I'm just not experienced enough to really be able to, you know, full transparency. But just be careful. All right. Now. Your last row here, Sagittarius, Page of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, as well as the Nine... No, oh, okay, yeah, no, yeah, both two Nines here. <laughs> Y'all hear that, Sagittarius? Initially, I was just like, I was having a hiccup. I was like, wait a minute, that's not the Nine. No, it is. Nine of Pentacles and Cups here with the Page of Swords here. All right, so this is really a setup here, Sagittarius. Page of Swords energy from a social type of dynamic here. Be careful about who it is, what it is that you're doing. I feel like someone's going to be trying to get into your business here as well. Page of Swords energy, this is like someone that is like, keeping watch of you i wouldn't be or just like immature unrefined communication here i really wouldn't be surprised here sagittarius all right if someone's just trying to get more about your business seeing what it is that you are up to and that's really what it is i see you continuously growing here as you continue growing and building whatever it is that you're building uh sagittarius you're going to be noticing people just trying to be like mm, what sagittarius up to like you know especially sagittarius if you are if you let's just say now this is something i can't personally relate to because i like any tarot reader that like reaches out to me i'm always like actively trying to help you know give let them know what i know but like you know let's just say like your competition comes in like comes in through the door let's just say that you have like uh i don't know like a restaurant right and then your competition comes in and they're just like oh hey sagittarius what did you do for this and that right and you share it because you're just a good person right and you don't gatekeep and then they they take that information i don't see them using it against you or anything like that like i don't think they do anything directly against you sagittarius i just feel as if it's just like a lot of selfish a lot of selfish desires is what i get here a lot of selfish desires 
And so, and I see people just not really responding positive to, positively with you being more empowered here. I feel like you're dealing with a lot of selfish people who only think about themselves, Sagittarius. You may have started noticing as you just part, made more time just for yourself and took away time from other people. Um, you may have noticed how people have just been acting really different or aggressive towards you because they just have that sense of resentment towards being like, oh, Sagittarius just thinks they're better than me now. Sagittarius is growing and so Sagittarius, you know, very much so projecting so many insecurities onto you, Sagittarius. And so it's just like, yeah, that's just where I feel like that hesitancy, darling, of where it's just like, I don't like this energy. Like, I don't like the vibe this person is giving here taking this more so in an internal dynamic here Sagittarius I feel like you guys are really evolving overall all right and the nine of pentacles just on its own Sagittarius is the card of successful uh personal self-employment endeavors here with the nine of cups you know I feel as if for you guys Sagittarius I don't feel like it's just this week I feel like in the weeks to come for you all right you're going to be starting to receive signs and things are going to start happening for you that really starts um validate not validating but ground bringing something to the physical realm that has always been a hopeful for you maybe you have always been really hopeful on Sagittarius like reaching like the managerial position somewhere or doing like you, there's like a personal accomplishment that you've wanted to do for such a long time you're going to start seeing the signs of it so for example right if you're wanting to be famous right and you do whatever you know you're going to start noticing your following uh just like starting to spike up more for others of you Sagittarius I just really get the sense of where your money is really just evolving big time here and if you're not being appreciated in your current work environment you need to just book it if you're not being appreciated in your social environment you need to just book it here as Sagittarius all right you guys are actively really evolving like really really evolving here and you have a lot of things that are building up for you Sagittarius and you want to make sure that you're doing the um the right things that you uh that you need to do right uh, so for example right um surrounding yourself with uh, people who want to um help build with you or that you can relate to someone that you can learn from here all right you have the sky bridge here that i just pulled for you possibility of a union so i really get like the sense here for you sagittarius like i said at the beginning i believe where it's just like some of you guys might be getting some type of mentor person coming in here or someone that it's like again i'm gonna go back to it. it's like the person that you always have like seen their lifestyle and you're like i want to live their lifestyle like i really feel like and again this is gonna be for such a small majority uh, minority here but i get for some of you guys coming into like a celebrity encounter or being able to start getting communications with someone that you have always really admired and looked up to or just getting some really solid information um to how to fully evolve yourself right so for example right maybe let's just say for argument's sake like tarot all right maybe the your favorite tarot reader um notices you and gives you the help that you know gives you insight all right or something in that manner all right so it's very good stuff though all right sky writing the fates it was in ooh, this is actually really powerful here sagittarius sky writing the fates possibility of union all right for my single sagittarius that are trying to manifest a relationship i do see that coming not quite yet though i did hear like i did hear a little bit like i wanted to use verbiage of like not this week but in the coming weeks here or it's it is like this is like a message where it's just like literally like a message being like it was written in the stars this union this union was written in the stars essentially like how you would rate this out as but it's also like this sense of where it's like spirit has seen you have this desire of like living your life in the same way that beyonce does darling or whatever the case is whoever it is here and they're honoring that here right skywriting really symbol symbolizes this sense of like the spiritual impact of what you are destined for right you're getting all of, like the cards of where it's just like destiny and what have you here taking the card in the back here you have the beloved radical acceptance uh coming in here for you Sagittarius radical acceptance darling all right and this kind of gives me like that um phoenix energy that I said at the beginning um or maybe I'm just reaching here because I just see the fire here radical acceptance so what I want to be saying for you Sagittarius is that radically just accept that I feel like some of you guys just need to believe, believe in it. I feel like you need to believe in yourself. I feel like you need to believe in what it is that you want to have done or what it is that you want to accomplish. Maybe there's certain people that you wish that you could connect with. I don't know why the word Will Smith, like the person Will Smith came in here. All right. Do some of y'all look up to Will Smith or something like that? <laughs> I don't know. This is crazy. But um, some of y'all Sagittarius just need to accept the fact that 
you're going places. And because it's so hard for you to conceptualize Sagittarius that you are going places and that you, you your person is meant to go places, you create a block for yourself where it's just like someone's handing you the golden ticket and you're just sitting there, Sagittarius. She's like, no, 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 no. Like, uh, that's not for me. You're wrong, right? So it's kind of in that vibe there. So watch where your mindset is at and ex like don't it's like you don't want to be hopeful for the fear of disappointment and i just want to challenge you on that all right i want to challenge you on that a little bit but sagittarius that's a weekly tarot reading that i have for you all right if you enjoy this be sure to give this video a like and subscribe and comment down below how this tarot reading resonated all right i always love to hear from it if you want to book a private reading with me simply welcome Dot com next to my social media Sagittarius TikTok and Instagram both just being simply Velka same as here but darling I love you so much Sagittarius and hopefully I can connect with you sometime in the near future all right bye Saggy.